In this demo, we'll take a look at revision control. As you can see here, I've got a document set that I've created. Uh, this document set is done, so I need to uh, release it. And what I'm going to do is use a process called sign off. So let's zoom in first, take a look at these title blocks. You'll notice they're at revision A on both the fabrication and assembly drawings here. And what I'll do now is I'll just go ahead and sign off this document set again indicating that it is ready for production. You'll notice it adds the words final by default automatically to the document set, so we'll go ahead and use that and save it off. Now what I'll do is I'll open up that document set again and we'll actually import some new data and change the revision. So because I did sign off the document set, it does ask me when I open it up if I want to open in view only mode or ECL mode. So we're going to open in ECL mode and we're actually going to change the revision on the documents in this document set. I'm going to leave that rework at Rev A and change all the other drawings uh, to Rev B. And you'll notice that, of course, it automatically gets updated to Rev B. The next step is I'm actually going to import some new data now uh, in my Rev B data, and we'll see the changes on the documents themselves. So I'm just simply going to import. And it asks me which of my documents I want to update with the new data. I'm just going to go with all of them for right now and say OK. And you'll notice this drill pattern in VSTack will change significantly when we do bring in the new data. But what I can also do is I can actually view the various revisions uh, through View Display Revisions. So I have my Rev A document set that's been saved off here. I click OK. And I'll actually see the differences between Rev A and Rev B uh, by using uh, different colors. So this gives us a way to determine, you know, what what were the major changes uh, from Rev A to Rev B, or from any revision to another in a document set.